So let's examine the following example that deals with using Coulomb's law to calculate the amount of energy released when an ionic bond is formed. And then let's calculate the binding energy. So let's begin. Suppose that the optimum separation distance between the sodium atom and the chlorine atom inside the sodium chloride molecule is given to be 0.24 nanometers. So in part A, we want to estimate the amount of energy released when the ionic bond is formed and in part B, if the activation energy is 1.53 electron volts, we want to calculate the binding energy. So, let's begin with part A. So basically, what we want to calculate is the amount of energy that is released when the positively charged sodium ion combines with the negatively charged chlorine atom to form our sodium chloride molecule. So to calculate this energy, we're going to make the assumption that these two ions are stationary point charges and that will allow us to use Coulomb's equation. So, our energy, the potential energy of our final sodium chloride molecule is equal to this equation, where epsilon naught is this constant, R is the separation distance given in meters, Q1 is the charge on our sodium, and Q2 is the charge on our chloride. And we basically plug these into our calculator and we find that our energy is equal to negative 9.60 times 10 to negative 19 joules. So if we want to, we can basically convert this into electron volts by dividing this by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 and we get about negative 6.00 electron volts. So this is basically the energy that is released when these two ions combine to form our ionic compound, our ionic molecule. Now let's move on to part B. Now we want to find the binding energy. Recall that the binding energy is the energy that is required to separate our ionic molecule into its constituent neutral atoms. So we basically want to find the amount of energy that is needed to take our sodium chloride molecule and separate it into Na and Cl in their neutral state. So, to basically visualize how we're going to go about calculating the binding energy, let's take a look at the potential energy diagram for the formation of our sodium chloride. So basically, our y-axis is the potential energy given by U and the x-axis is the separation distance given by R. Now, if we go all the way to the right, to the right of this bump, this basically this region here corresponds to when our sodium and the chlorine molecules are in their neutral state. Now to go from our neutral sodium to the new and a neutral chlorine to these two ions, energy must be inputted, work must be done to take our electron away from the sodium and place it onto our chlorine. So to go from Na and Cl to Na plus and Cl minus, a certain amount of energy must be inputted. And this energy is equal to the activation energy given by Ea. And this is equal to 1.53 electron volts. So at this particular location, this corresponds to Na having a plus and Cl having a minus. Now in part A, we were able to calculate that when we go from Na plus to Cl minus to this compound, this molecule, six electron volts are released. Now notice this bump corresponds to when our Na is connected to our Cl. So this is when our 
molecule is actually formed. That means this distance here gives us our total energy 6 electron volts that we calculated in part A. So that means to calculate this quantity which represents our binding energy to calculate E, we take 6 electron volts and subtract the activation energy. So 6 electron volts minus 1.53 electron volts gives us the E quantity quantity of positive 4.47 electron volts. So basically, this is the amount of energy that is needed to take our sodium chloride molecule and break it into its constituent atoms in their neutral state.